Okay, so today's Adventures in Sociology uh, is a little bit of a lesson from data analysis. We're going to assume that you've already kind of cleaned up your data set and you've got all your formulas and your values and things, and that you've even created an index and weighted it. And these values over here on the side, these are what we've got from our weighted index from our two variables. And um, we're going to try to <laughs> create some histograms here. So the first thing you need to do is decide your bin size. And I have here for my first variable, I decided to take it in, in increments of five. And then on my second one, it only goes from zero to five. So I've got, you know, that bin was pretty easy. Now you're going to start here on the tab up here at the top. This is home. And what you're going to need to do for your data analysis is go over here across this toolbar at the top to where it says data. Click that and then kind of come over here to the right where it says data analysis. Give that a click. You want to go down to where it says histogram. Okay. And then here it's going to ask you to input a range. What you do is you click this little kind of grid thing here and come over and you find, why is it doing this? That's a little weird. Ah, okay. So you find where your uh, numbers are. You want to start here and hold down right on your mouse and highlight all of that. Then come back over here and click this little box. And then I want your bin range. So we've got our bin for our first variable is up here. So we're going to highlight all of that. Come back over here and click. And then it's, it says your output range right here. This is where you want this information to end up on your screen. So we're going to go right next to here. You just click the one box and that's where it's going to start it. Make sure you don't overlap something else you wanted to keep. Click that and then hit OK. And there you go. And then we're going to, here where it says frequency, we're just going to kind of label this in. And hit enter and there you go. And then we're going to do the same thing for the next variable. Okay, so walk through this process again the second time. We highlight all of our values for this variable. Up here, see we've, we're have we on data up here at the top. And then we go over to data analysis on the right, click it. Make sure we've got histogram highlighted. Okay. So our input range. We want to now, don't just, just think that you're okay because see how it's got the little dotted line here, you have to come over here and highlight what you want to actually go into that field. And then click your little box in the end. Bin range, click it. We want to make sure, see again the little dotted line, that's what it thinks it has. You want to make sure you have your bins that you've delineated for your second variable. And then it fills that in. Go back over here, click it. Output range, we want to put this down here. Click the little box again and OK. And then it's got your ver your values for that variable, your frequencies. And we're going to go ahead and label that one as well. On this little uh, project here, in case you're wondering about those, this has to do with experience in math courses and the anxiety that students have with taking this data analysis course. OK, so now what I think is the fun part which has to do with actually putting these numbers onto a graph so you can visualize what you have here. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight our frequencies for our first variable. Go over here to insert up at the top, kind of towards the left. Click that and then come over where, here where it says columns. Click that and we're going to choose the first one because that'll be, you know, that's going to do what we need. And there you go. It has spit out this graph showing the frequency of our first variable. And, you know, we kind of notice that and think about it all, you know, analytically and stuff. And, well, that might tell us about the, you know, the frequency of this particular variable, the math experience of students in this class, because that, well, that was a survey. But we want to kind of compare it to this other variable so we can see if there's any correlation. So we're going to do this process again. We're going to come over here. We're going to highlight these values, insert, column. We're going to click that one because we're going to do the same kind of graph. We're going to look at this and we're going to notice, well, okay, 
that's our frequency for that second variable. We'll just move the, just kind of drag that down there. There you go. Put it out of the way. And now we're going to do a graph that shows the comparison of both variables together. Okay, so to compare the one variable to the other, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight our second variable here. We're just going to take right click, copy this, come back up here, and we're going to, we just want the values, so we're going to hit paste special and the values and to paste it there. And then you hit escape to get rid of that little wiggly line. Okay, so now we've got both of our variables here together. And then we highlight both columns together, go up to insert, go to column, and we select that graph there, that first one, and then we can compare the two and kind of notice, you know, maybe what's going on and see if we've got any kind of correlations there in the comparison. And here's a fun little trick. Some of these things up here, uh, maybe you've noticed that you can click on that and you can change your colors. You can kind of play with, you know, what's going on here, change colors on this. Here's some fun stuff too. Double click one of those bars, go back over here to home. Then you see a little paint bucket. It opens stuff up here. Maybe you want to make something kind of, you know, like different colors. Maybe you want to get decorative. Yeah, you can do that too. And I know there are probably more important things that one could be doing with their time, but this amuses me. So there's your handy extra little tip to make your graphs pretty. And have fun doing that.